Hello there guys and welcome back. This is our 21st C++ tutorial. Well, today we're going to go ahead and go over... Well, our previous tutorial was on pointers, so this one will be also on pointers. Another quick example. So you can be... So you can familiarize more yourself with pointers. Because pointers are actually very important if you want to program in C++ and C. And especially in C. Um, anyways. Let's go ahead and start typing our code. Go to your main.cpp file. If you don't have it, pause the video, create a new project, and a new cpp file. Like always, we're gonna go ahead and type our code first, and then basically go over it. All right. So let's clear. Let's go ahead and declare an integer value, and call it value. I'm gonna go ahead and initialize this to. Let's go a big number. Let's go like four thousand. I guess it doesn't really matter. Next, create an integer pointer called pointer or anything in particular you like. Let's also create another integer and call it val2. I guess value2. Alright, so what we want to do here is type pointer. This is kind of similar to the previous one but a little bit different in a way. And let's assign the value next what we want to do it's uh, let's go ahead and type val2 now let's set this equal to pointer and let's go ahead and display uh, let's type here I'll type val2 equals And uh, let's go ahead and type val2 so you guys see what it equals. Alright, so, oh, there's an end line here. Alright, so this is our tutorial, but let's go ahead and go over it so we can understand it much better. So you can understand pointers and how they function. So you know how you know how to declare initialize variables from now for now, or at least you should. So we have our value and use an integer value. We have 4000 and we set it equal to 4000. We declared a pointer, an integer pointer, then we declared another variable, but we didn't we did not in initialize it. Down here, just like in our previous tutorial, we set the pointer equal to the address of the value of, the, of this value here. Then on our next line is the important line down here, we set our second variable equal to asterisk pointer, which means we set this value here, this variable, to be equal to whatever, to whatever da uh, data it's uh, it's inside this address. Basically, here we set the pointer equal to the address of the value, and then down here we're telling value two to equal whatever content is located inside the address of value here, which we are pointing at which would be 4000 so if we go right ahead and print out this we should if we did it correctly we should be able to see 4000 because we are pointing at that address and then here we are setting the content or the data inside that address to equal that memory address to equal uh, our second variable we declare val2 and then we're printing it out so let's go ahead and print that out or we'll go ahead and build it once it builds successfully we can go ahead and run it So we see here val2 equals 4000 just like we expected. Okay guys, so I know this was a very short tutorial but hopefully it helped you understand pointers a little bit better and hopefully you would start liking pointers because pointers are, you can do a lot of very cool things and so the, the, the more you understand pointers the better programmer you will be. Anyways, thank you for watching this quick tutorial guys and please please subscribe to my channel and check out all my other videos and leave as much comment as possible because that helps me better understand what I'm doing wrong and what should I do to improve and please check out all my other videos and thank you for watching this one and don't forget to subscribe thank you